There we go. Now I don't know if this, I don't know if we save Caleb doing that, but uh, he's out of the way now. Exactly happened six years ago. There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. A bit of a layer to it beyond that. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf who for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him? Just driving right there. In the middle of the road. Oh. Hey guys, the brakes. Oh, he's he's out. to Ryan. Where'd Ryan go? Travis, hit the brakes. There you go. Go! Put the brake back down? Where did he go? He could have just disappeared. He's gotta be nearby. Better not be under the car. Let's look around. Are you crazy? You okay, Ryan? You're in the middle seat. How'd you get knocked out? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. I don't get how his mom oh, cut herself in blood and just wanted to an explosion. What the Ooh. fuck was her plan? This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Is their hair tied back right now? Go ahead. Where right do they go? That's what you want. I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. Sorry, I was sitting up in my chair. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. 
Go team. Her hair keeps changing every scene. Oh, makes sense now. You got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't. I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. If anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. Yeah, but we, we dragged you into this, so look, her hair keeps changing. This is yours. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll be fine. I got this. Ugh. Pungent. Rather stinky than dead. I mean, not. I'm, I'll sure. I'm sure you'll be fine. Why does her hair keep changing every frame? Podcast didn't do it justice. You know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was. I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. She was saying Silas. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who you're talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. So Wait, when did you mother. see her, her? I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. Died in explosions, what happened to her? The hack of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? They caused it. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest gentlest souls to ever walk this earth and all she wanted to do was help that little boy locked in a cage by that freak show witch what did she do I think the hair is changing she again wanted to help him Travis she convinced Caleb to start a fire it was just a distraction it's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. I have an idea of what's happening here, because we're was his outfit Some changing too? You are. I think I think what's happening here that This is all that's left. DLC conflicting Jesus with with the game. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Look 
Because I downloaded the, uh, the, the 50s outfit DLC. But I didn't think it... I didn't think it was working because I kept saying there was an issue with it. Close. We must be. But now the game is like really fighting me. Kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. We need to investigate this outfit issue once we're done playing, because that is weird that it keeps doing that. Fucking Jesus Christ. Not play game. It's a Shoot fucking stupid girl. St don't insult me. Don't. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Damn right, I'm sure it's a fucking werewolf. We gotta kill him. No. It's a threat to everyone. But we don't, if we let him live, like he roams the country, biting more people, creating more werewolves. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Now we've reached the end of the game, right? That was it. What was the name again? Liza? I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. Clever enough. You. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. No, you didn't. Don't say you're lie to me. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck that's... Are you threatening me now? Is that what you're doing? I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I, I don't. You don't frighten me. You really don't. And then we get our, our death recap, right? The wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring. But it rings, and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my you can see who's alive and who's dead now, right? That's how it works. Axe alive. Cured when we shot Chris. Uninjured, Bobby was able to fend off an attack from Chris, his brother, in a werewolf form. Oh, I won't say he fended it off. He was kind of fucked up. Blow his head off. Jeez. 
Jacob's alive. Nick's alive. Abigail alive. Emma alive. Caitlin alive. Speaking of Caleb, is he still alive? Nope, he's dead. So we just never let him out, huh? A bit fucked. I feel kind of bad about Caleb dying the way he did now because, like, he we could have let him out once we once he turned back to human, right? It's a wee bit fucked up. We just left Psycho him in a freeze. Teens charged after summer camp massacre. <laughs> Psycho teens, one of my favorite punk bands. Okay, so I actually have a really hard time knowing if you're being sarcastic. Well, here we are, though, at the end of the game. Um, so these credits go on for quite a while, uh, mostly because we have these guys on the podcast going over uh, the evidence that we all found, and how we have we get you know to our uh, our, our our best ending. But um, while this is going on, I'm gonna get on out of here and get ready for bed because I have to be up in three and a half hours. Every day I believe. Occurrences. And that's exactly yeah, so what I gotta, I gotta hit the bed soon. But, um, with a shadow of that is this game completed. That is the quarry. It only took us three sessions, no. so it wasn't wasn't that bad. Okay, so I hope uh, you've got had insurance. I do I'm have another game picked I'm out about to, to take this game's place. Mind. I know I said that earlier, but I might as well reveal it now. Yes. Uh, we'll be playing Life is Strange Season 2 next. I've been putting that one off for quite a while, so it's time for us to get started on it. Anyway, uh, probably start recording that, that sometime. To hack its quarry. Sometime this week, we'll, we'll have to see about it because I'm not quite certain at the moment. But we'll figure out a day for it. Sourced some information. But yeah, uh, we're Everything gonna be throwing that. And Monday we'll be doing a session Under of hat. Dragon Age. I was hoping you'd say. We're still working on no, beating that why? game too. Why are you smiling? Stop it! Yeah. I hate it. Um, I had braces. I have to. Make I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Uh, I've enjoyed playing it again. This is my third playthrough. And this time we got the best ending possible, even one that I have gotten yet because whenever I played this game last I accidentally killed Lin Shay both times well the first time was accidental second time was intentional but this time we kept most of the Hatchet family alive we just had to kill Chris and his two children which kind of sucks but it is what it is don't we all have someone on the inside you know an inner critic but doing a podcast no one's listening that's gonna be it for our spooky game I know it came out late Let's call it an uh, anonymous. It didn't come out in October. We, we still got it done. You know, we're not but, the um, only ones who flagged I'm going to go ahead and get on out here, guys. And I'll see you guys all uh, probably Thursday or Friday Did when we record um, anyone who, I our first anyone session who of Life is Strange. Oh, so I, I will see you guys then, okay? As Surprise! always, I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. Anonymous hope you guys enjoyed the session. Donation.